Thank you very much for tuning in to the latest episode of the Days We Podcast. I want to thank all of our YouTube members, our Patreons, as well as our donators for all of the support. I want to thank Florida AF, Big Dog, Shane Murphy, Tank Desert, Hawks Hammer, and Mark Godfrey, as well as Red Freedom M3739 for their support. I also want to thank all of our YouTube members for their support. Kenny Baker, King Alabar, Cinnamon, Muddy Trek Links, Jake Azira Cool, Raymond Normoyle, Matt Z, and Mark and P2 for all of their support. Really, really do appreciate all the help that you guys give and all the feedback that you have. I hope you all have a pleasant day and I hope you enjoy this episode of the Daisy Podcast. You take care. Hello there. <laughs> We're here, we're finally here. It took some time, but we're here. <laughs> Hello everyone, Alad here with Project Lemons for episode 112 of the Daisy Podcast. Hope everyone's doing alright. Hello everybody in chat, and Lemons, how are you doing? Not too bad. You know, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit uh, a little bit woozy after that last night, dealing with a nephew, but yeah. other than that, pretty good. Pretty <laughs> that's good. good. That's, that's, that's really good. Yeah, not doing too bad, not doing too bad at all. Just um, I've just chilled out as much as I could today, so enjoying the week off. It was a long week at work, but glad, uh, glad we're here. Um, there's no dump today, more than likely. He is visiting family uh, this weekend, so unfortunately... Um, not too sure if he will be able to pop in. If he does, fantastic. If not, well, it is what it is. He'll be here in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be here in spirit. Oh no, it's Lad Runaway. Capit Zarge, bruh, I'm always here. Okay, I'm always going to be here. All right, you got, you got nothing to worry about. It's just me. It's always me. Okay, deal with it. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, so, like I said, we were supposed to have an episode yesterday, so I do want to apologise to everyone, but, um, as I explained to Lem uh, Lemons and Dump, IRL always takes precedence over the show, so, um, so, but we're here now, we're here now, um, and let's get, uh, let's, let's get started. It's been a really interesting week, <laughs> to say the least. Um, <laughs> so, Eden... What on earth happened? <laughs> so, Lemons, have you heard anything more about uh, what what has been going on with Eden? If you've heard anything at all, it's it's definitely interesting. I'll tell you mm, that. <laughs> yeah, just just a little bit, yes, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, you know it's a big thing when even people on console were talking about it. I know there was a few people that were talking about the controversy, and that's how you can kind of tell that. Yeah, shit really uh, hit the it fan. Hit, it really <laughs> hit sure. the fan. Oh my god, it was it was funny because I, I remember when it, like it came out a couple of weeks ago, if that, and one of my one of my friends, uh, uh, one of my friends, were noted Eden. We're like, oh, let's let's quickly check it out, and we're like, these look like fucking. This looks, this doesn't look too great. It needs more, uh, you know. Yeah. It, it's it was well, too the, empty. The needs too more was. thing, but. Yeah, the big thing too was when we were talking uh, a few episodes ago. Yeah, I was saying that. Or it just felt like it, it. They didn't have proper assets. It they, they had these really nice, high detailed um, models they're using for some of the buildings. Yeah. And then right next to them, they had like armor models. It made no sense, you know. It, was it felt really, like the styles were clashing. It was know? definitely a, a stark contrast between the quality. Absolutely. Um, and then, imagine my shock and the community shock when it was suddenly took down. Um, I, I genuinely initially thought, because of the nature of it at first, I thought it was maybe something that happened to, to Dump and to um, to, da uh, to dab with their mods, where just Steam just yoinked them, pulled the plug. Um, well, that's it. Yeah, we're just about to talk about that, Sarge. So, it was really... It was really weird when it turned out that it more than met the eye... <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. So, uh, Inclement Dab, he created uh, quite a comprehensive thread on Twitter in regards to the situation. See if I can just uh, pull it up. Um, so, we've got it here. Just going to make sure that it did pop up on the second screen. Yep, it did. Fab. So, the new modded map, uh, sorry, the new modded Daisy map Eden was removed randomly from the workshop early this morning. Carister, the map creator, has deleted the Discord and cut communication with map developers running with the work they've all put in. 
This is not the first time Karastar has done something like this. They had a previous stunt like this with the map Aurora, which as you were just saying there, um, which was taken down in a similar fashion back in April, which completely blew, flew under my radar, to be fair. They were matching jungle assets between projects. I'm unsure the circumstances of either shutdown. So we've got an image here of the two um, jungle PBOs here, which is interesting to say the least. Some dodgy sources are saying the map is stolen. Others say uh, others saying A3 assets were repacked. I want to weigh in on it until I have actual solid information to share. And see, this is the thing because when when at least I looked at the um, the jungle paths of the map, um, like the underbrush and everything like that, it really did just bring me back to Tanoa one to one. It was like. But at the same time, you don't want to be like, oh yeah, these are definitely ripped assets because. You're thinking, oh, it's a new map, give it the benefit of the doubt, maybe it's just a coincidence. Yeah. Well, what's interesting, <laughs> actually, about those jungle assets, Yeah. is they were actually from, it was either the Unity or the Unreal Asset Store. Mm -hmm. Which is, not. there's so, nothing wrong with that, because no. unless the, uh, the only assets that you can't do that with is ones made by Epic themselves. Um, other, um, other creators on that platform, they generally allow it, unless stated otherwise. Um, yeah, because I know there, there's a few people, there was speculation that they ripped the uh, jungle assets as well, but mm -hmm. um, I believe Marx has made a video about it already. He did, that. yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend everybody check out Marx's video on the subject as well. He'd done a, quite a comprehensive video on it as well. Um, and some Mark responded to this. I've been in contact with him earlier this week. He used the whole underground darkening from the mosque. Asked for an explanation, God replied that he pushed a new build where he rewrote it, changed a bunch of variable names, told him that I would give him permission if he would come clean, but he chose this path so I've asked him to remove the code. God replied that he's not using it, I look at Workshop and Eden as no more, just like his Discord server. It's malice. It is absolute mal malice. Like, And somebody re-uploaded it. And in fact, let's actually double check to see if the re-upload is on the Workshop. Because if it is just a re like a, a re-upload, then it'll be absolutely one to one. Yep, Eden backup, Eden rainforest, all that kind of stuff. So the map's been put back up, but it's just now at least for, for now, yeah, until it gets absolutely D, uh, DMCA'd. But it's it was a really it was really interesting. It was really really interesting and. Hello, Steve. Hey, uh, but it was it was a really interesting event to take place. Um, I uh, Zaj is just saying. I believe when I searched through the modders Discord a while back, uh, when me and Living X were talking about that Aurora map, I can be wrong, but I remember something about armor free assets being used. I mean, see, that's the thing. They did look it, but it's been pretty much confirmed at this point that they were Unity, uh, not Unity, Unreal Engine assets. So there is that. Um, but it was. I wonder where those buildings came from, like those. That's um, it. It's weird too, because I don't. I don't get what would have been going through the um, map maker's head at the time, because those looked like such futuristic buildings, and then they had them next to like. It didn't make sense. <laughs> they it just had them doesn't next make to, like, sense. Like crumbling Arma Two buildings. Mm -hmm. And that's like... the thing. Like I was, because when we've had, um, when maps have come out. On the show, at least, I've took a look at them on the show and I've given my opinions of them direct. And I was actually planning to do that, given a few weeks, give it a couple of updates, and I'll do that. I can't do that now! <laughs> but it's a good thing I didn't, because it was a pile of, it's a pile of crap. <laughs> Probably <Yep. laughs> a whole bunch of stolen stuff, more than likely. Um, you know, if, if your map was genuinely taken down by Steam... Why the hell did you cut off communications? Why the hell have you not said anything publicly? Even just like a post on Twitter, something like, okay, this has happened. What, what benefit do you have to create a map like this to get people to play it and download it and then suddenly take it off? What, what's in it for you? Like, Someone who wasn't <laughs> at fault wouldn't have changed their, like, completely wiped their social media presence. Absolutely please. not. Exactly. Like, dump, like, dump and dab. They had something similar where the map, the, the, the mod got took off. They posted publicly. Dump even made a backup. He posted that because the original one is still not back up. But 
Pe I've heard, I've tried I've seen people who's made the argument oh it's, it's this scenario it's fucking not <laughs> it's absolutely not so but we can't we can't fully check to see exactly what went on under the hood we 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 can't unless we have the source files I mean the backup maybe yes we could probably check that but you just don't know unless somebody's still got it got it um, downloaded on their local system which be, if you do great. You know, fantastic. Um, I honestly think Eden looked very empty outside of towns. Like, there was absolutely nothing outside of towns, but I never had a proper view of it. It was empty as shit, dude. Like, it was... From my initial... Uh, my initial perspective on it, when I did take a look, it was fucking terrible. It was god-awful, and I did not understand people who were making servers out of it. Maybe it's to just jump on it and, you know... Jump on the hype. Well, it's just new the map. new map hype that comes around. It, yeah, you know? exactly. Every new map that comes out, I mean, like... You can remember when Dino Island came out, everybody was on that. Oh, yeah. Every, every streamer, every content creator. So and that's recently just, got a resurgence. It gives them new content yeah. to upload. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. So it just it gives them new new content, new stuff, and potentially more views for their channels. So. Well, that's it. Like, I, I, I have high hopes for any new map that comes up because as Scale Speed has said, it was... It definitely does feed a, a, a hunger for tropical maps. And if there is a genuine proper one coming out... I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. But yeah. this has put a massive sour in my taste, and I imagine a lot of the community, to the point where Sumrak himself has had to be like, yo, what, what's going on? It was, well, that's it. And, and this is the, this is the you, thing. You know you're I fucked do. when, um, you, know, you know you're fucked when Ad makes a comment, you know? Like. <laughs> Adam's like, <laughs> I just, I've, I, I've never understood the concept of releasing on the workshop and then just pull it, like pulling it off. Like, what's the benefit? It takes a long time to to get a map in a decent-ish running state, and then all of a sudden you're going to put it off. Is it because it was getting popular? And in that case, why the hell are you making a mod in the first place? Well, I <laughs> like, mean, from the seriously. looks of what Dad was saying, too, it looks like there was multiple people working on the project, from what well, he was it. saying. Because yeah. he said he ran off with people's work, so it could have just been that he didn't do a majority of it, and most of the work was being done that by third-party modders. That could be it. And then what we're going to see, like, a new map in, like, four or five months' time with these new assets. And then it's just going to be, like, the workshop well, no, is payment. going to be... If these guys were commissioned, oh, what it. if they were never yeah. paid? Oh, no, you, you, you're, you are a commission-based modder, so you, you mm -hmm. would understand the pain if someone absolutely. just completely just... I would be... Running out. <laughs> I would be absolutely... See, but this is the thing, like, under what, when I do my commissions, I don't hand anything off until I see that money. But even then, chargebacks... So if, if anybody oh, well, who does charge. watch this, well, that, oh, <laughs> if anybody who did develop the map, who's like a genuine, honest person, who, and then if you watch this segment, reach out to me on Twitter. I'd love to get you on the show to get you, like, to get your perspective or even a statement. I would absolutely love it because I can't accept this is a create, like a modder myself. I can't accept this whatsoever. I might not have that much sway. But if I can tell people your story, I'd be more than happy to do that. Absolutely. Because this is, it's shit. It's absolutely shit, you know. And it's for the server owners who, you know, they may have um, forked out God knows what for a brand new server to run this. <laughs> I love you, Zaj. Yeah. But it's, see, this is the thing. It's like server owners have spent money maybe getting a new server to host this map. And then it's like, shit what the hell am I gonna do and it's like it, it annoys me so much <laughs> it annoys me oh my lord it really really does sorry I'm <laughs> I'm getting a little bit hit up here lemons I really am but um but I that's like the most information that I've managed to actually find out about it yeah um, and to answer I've, your question Sarge we don't have any names yet that's why we're encouraging well, anybody it, yeah. who might be watching who had any affiliation with it to please, please reach out because uh, if that's... there are people that were scammed out of money, you know, mm -hmm. for a hard working commission like that, like some yeah. of those buildings were very, very detailed and well done. You Absolutely. know, and I would just I couldn't imagine the people working on that if they just mm -hmm. ran away and just said, Nope, fuck you guys, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, well that's it. Scale speed has said, Let's remember nobody dies because of this. Well well that's the thing. Yeah, you you are absolutely right. Nobody died because of this issue, and you know there's nothing wrong with that. But it's it's the it's the precedent that 
there were perhaps people who wanted to work on this map, who, who had genuine passion for it. It's been through back in their faces. And that stifles me a lot. That actually really, really does get to me because there are people out there who they do want to create good content and they want to create a good map. If, if, like, if I was working on a map and there was like a whole team of us and we spent hours and hours on, in our free time creating assets and whatnot and then, you know, getting paid for it and then all of a sudden the map gets took off, he cuts contact, we don't get paid or we get chargebacks, I'd be fuming. I would absolutely be fuming. I'm pretty sure anybody here would be as well. Um... Josie says, the amount of talented people within this community and others, why haven't we as people learned, uh, teamed to make a new project for the community? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Um, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see a brand new uh, mod project come out, but no idea in what way. In what way? <laughs> How would it work? Um, there's so many ideas that we could be anyway. Uh, so anyways, I will cancel the map. No! <laughs> DJ, shut up. <laughs> but, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm personally, like, taking it way over the top. I don't know. Um, but I, w I was not happy when I found out all about this. Because, especially when I worked on a Project X to K, we had underground sections, right? Even we asked Sumrak if we could have permission to use the code and adapt it. And he said, yes, there's no problem with that. And we did. And it worked very, very well. And it's it, in that regard, it doesn't take five minutes to just reach out and then get a response, you know? Awesome. But the fact is that that happened. We got, and then, yeah, it's just absolute shit. Um, <laughs> it's, it is absolute shit. Uh, but this doesn't just happen once or twice. It does happen often. <clears throat> so any, I always encourage people who work with rogue modders to, to talk about it, to put them be on vocal. blast. Be vocal, exactly, and because that's the thing. It's like, whereas we as a community, not only as modders, but as, is, is um, is players, as people who are a fan of Daisy, we want to make sure that we can have a good community, that we can talk to talk to each other and have a good laugh and and team up on stuff. And if everybody's watching out after their backs because they don't know if the next person is going to be a rogue modder or an arsehole, you just don't know. And it's we're, and it we're is, all here for the same reason, man. We just we want to make the community better. I'm and just we're here all for trying to do the same thing. Oh, well, that's true. But well, you shouldn't have said that. Hello, <laughs> Ref. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but yeah, so oh, I need to show that at the end of the show. But yeah, so. I mean, again, I could be blown it way out of proportion, but there was a lot of chatter about it this week, and it would it would be a disservice to not talk about it at all. Um, absolutely needed to address it. <sighs> people, lemons, people, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, what can you do, you know? Yeah, well, that's not it, much. exactly. Well, there's a bit, but yeah, I mean... It is what it is, I suppose. At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, it is what it is. And people will just have to either keep looking into it to see exactly the full extent of the damages, or we just move on. And at the end of the day, it's like, do whatever you must. <laughs> you know, do whatever you need to do. Um, but if anything like this happens again, it does need to be absolutely addressed, absolutely. And hopefully it does. Hopefully it absolutely does. But, um, but yeah, it was just a shock. It was just an absolute shock. And it's like, again, I just don't see the point. But, yeah. People. <laughs> uh, jo uh, Josie says, congrats on the overhaul project, Lemons. Would love to see more demo vids of that project. There you go. You awesome, should. thank you. Yeah, it needs to, I need to do more videos. I've been really, um... I've been really slacking on it. The last, like, nice one I did was that one transition at Krasno Airfield, where it mm -hmm. faded from the old into the new, and I thought that was such a fun thing, and yeah, I need to get back on that. There's, like, there's three trailer files I have in um, in After Effects I just I haven't finished. <laughs> you know what you should do when, like, when a major update hits? You should do, like, a, um, like, a, you should do a video on it showcasing, like, what went into it to, to create it. 
like but like sped up so it's like a time like a time lapse i guess you could say oh it's so like like a speed art kind of thing yeah yeah exactly that would yeah. be pretty interesting i'd love to see something like that one thing i've wanted to do too is i've wanted to make a release trailer kind of similar to the one that uh daisy does you know like on mm. twitter whenever they make a new update they post that kind oh. of interesting trailer at the end May, they have that yes. picture that appears it shows like the, the every item that was added. I'd love to do something similar to that. That'd be pretty. If, uh, if you need cool. people for that, hit me up. I would love to do stuff like that. That'd be class. <laughs> I've always really, really enjoyed that kind of um, those kind of videos. And to be fair, like the trailer, the very short teaser trailer that you made was it was so good. It was really, really good. Yeah. But um. Yeah, and I mean, I'm po I'm posting all my vods on uh, YouTube too. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm everywhere pretty much YouTube yeah. and Twitch. So. You'll see me somewhere, crying while I'm trying to make this map. <laughs> PC release when? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm waiting for. People's just like, oh, I'll get an Xbox. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> you think I can afford one? Where would I keep it? <laughs> but no, I'm 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 still excited for Zagori. But that's that's the thing. It's like new map ideas, new perspectives, and stuff like that. I I love. I absolutely love. And it's like we've had quite a few different interesting map designs come out in recent years and um you know we've had DRL we've had Namask which by the way I have been replaying it a bit in uh, preparation for the Phoenix update Whew, that's gonna be fun I'm really excited about that Adam's already asked us I'm doing another 24 hour live stream you actually I don't know if I will if I do it'll probably be oh, for charity Jesus. If I do, I'll or you should for do charity. the um, you should do a subathon so that every time someone subs you, it extends the timer, and then start <laughs> like start like modest like ten hours, and then just see where it goes from there. You know. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, no problem at all. Hello, James. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. But uh. Yeah, no, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty interesting to say the least. But no idea. Um, might you might want to delete that line. I I don't have moderator privileges still, unfortunately, so I can't really can't do much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta love people in the community. But anyway. Yeah, we're all we're all awesome people in the community, you know. Thank you, Scale Speed. I much appreciate, mate. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I I do hope that despite the negativity of what's happened to Eden, I do genuinely hope that somebody does come out with a brand new map that is actually fully tropical. In it's the actually, perfect opportunity too. It is. It is. It's the summer. Do it. No, but like seriously. Yeah. Well, even just from this, from this sour taste, if someone saw this, mm -hmm. this is the perfect opportunity for anyone watching if they wanted to make some sort of tropical map to do it, is then they can really hit it out of the park, because Eden, of course, set the bar so low that anybody. <laughs> anything much is going to be like, better. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, but anything is really going to be better. Yeah. And as um, as DOJ has, has spoken to us about. Making a full tropical map is very difficult because it can Absolutely. be very resource intensive for both the map itself and the uh, player's mm -hmm. hardware. So, well, that's the thing. You've got to be very, very careful, and you've really got to optimize it well. And to be fair, anybody who does make a tropical map and it works well and it runs well, boosh, sell it, sell it to me. <laughs> Growing um, Hawaii. You know, <laughs> some islands of Hawaii, like around that, that would be pretty interesting. That'd be really cool. Or just oh, the entirety of Hawaii, you know, you know, there yep, you go. Yep. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Truly put uh put the test to the engine. That'd be that'd be that'd be great. Um But if anybody does ever work on a tropical map, absolutely do let us know because that's gonna be absolutely lovely to see. And see that's the thing with Armor 3. I did actually like Tanoa. I actually did. Um but my PC at the time could not run it. <laughs> Maybe yeah, fifteen. There's just so much foliage. It, it will just like fold yeah. your computer, you know. Like, <laughs> I mean, bearing in mind, uh, bearing in mind, I did, um, I did have a FX like a AMD FX sixty three hundred CPU, and a and a and a HD no sorry, 
a GTX 1050 Ti at the time. So, there is that. <laughs> um, I reckon we'll be getting Everon and Daisy next. That would be interesting to see. Then again, I'm not too sure if map stuff can be ported back into Daisy from from Full Infusion, but we'll just have to see. If it if it can, fantastic. If not, fuck. Um, yep. But we'll, well just have to we're see. We're talking a lot about maps, mm. and one thing I was talking to you about is something that I've been working pretty privately on recently. And for those who don't know, I've been working very hard with um, Don Sibley Games, Half Goblin, and a few other creators in the community. Mm -hmm. And we've found out a way to directly port um, P3D models from PC and turn it into a uh, JSON file, which can then be uploaded to Xbox. So fundament fundamentally, we can now port any map without the terrain, of course, into uh, console edition now. And one of the first projects we'll be taking on is um, Essaker, because of course Half Goblin has made Essaker ports prior to this. Yes. But they haven't been high, uh, high fidelity. They've kind of lacked a lot of the builder items, quote unquote builder items, which we now have as the static objects. Mm -hmm. So now with this, we'll be doing a full port of everything, every single object, oh, directly from the P3D. That's gonna be that's gonna be wild. And obviously, this only applies to vanilla P3Ds, I'd imagine. Yes. Yeah, so any of the custom bridges on Essaker, we won't be able to mm -hmm. do those, but we could probably throw something together to look like it. Because mm -hmm. we have so many objects now that can you can mix together. And the thing I love about console is everyone is just so intuitive, and we really think outside the box. I know for anyone who's built before on console, they can agree with that, because we used to work with very limited tools. And just you, it forces you to think outside the box more and become more creative, you know, and it just... Even now with these static objects, we still do a lot of things to try and think outside the box, make new ideas and things that people probably would have, wouldn't have thought of, you know? So it's it's awesome to see that. And now with these new tools at hand that I'm hoping to make a full public Wikipedia page about, like actual proper documentation about it, I can't wait to see what creators in the community will do with that. I'm, I'm excited. That that sounds like a really, really cool, um, really cool method. And are, are you able to showcase... Any uh, examples? Any like anything like that at all? I don't have any examples yet of it. Right. Uh, we will have some soon, but I can. Um, I can link. A, I can send a link from one of Don Sibley's old streams that <laughs> actually showcases some of this stuff. We've we've done a lot more in regards to it, but the stuff that he showcases in there is a very rudimentary kind of thing of what we'll be doing. Right. So I can grab that video real quick. Yeah, go for um, it. To answer your questions, Arch, uh, but how will that be? Completely different terrain. So, with um, console, we don't have custom trains. We can't use terrain builder or any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, what we usually do is we just superimpose it onto the map. Or there's a few things we do. Either we'll superimpose it onto the map to kind of just fit until it works, or we'll just move out to the um, far lands and just place all the builds out there in uh, Chinoris, like where it's uh, like the what do you what do you call that? Uh, the debug terrain or whatever. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Obviously, and I know a few servers, like... they actually do that publicly. Or they, um, they've, I think, Role Players Oasis, they have placed stuff beyond the, wherever the map cutoff is. You know how it, it cuts mm -hmm. off, the grass it just cuts off, and then it starts off, generating yeah. terrain? Yeah, 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 yeah. So in that kind of infinite terrain, they st and it's, um, it's really interesting because people just build out and out and out and keep going, so... It's definitely an interesting thing, and um, I would I would uh, propose using Livonia for that though with the grass etc. Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent. I would wait on Livonia. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, I'd wait on. Yeah. That. Um, yeah. in in DOJ says debug cannot save items on the ground though, which is fair. But so. Yeah, that's true. But it's still just a lot. It's 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 like a proof of concept, you know. You at least get to showcase the map, and I think a lot of people would just be more off to just exploring it, if anything. Yeah. But yeah, and of course with um with Half Goblin's current port of Essaker, he's got it near Tizzy Lake, and what he's done, like the deep lake over at Tizzy, mm -hmm. and what he's done is he has it in the grass area, then it actually works into Tizzy Lake to be the flooded portion of Essaker City. Yes. No, I've, so. I've, um, I, <clears throat> I remember he um, he came on the show and showed that, and it was really impressive. Really impressive. 
but yeah, it's but definitely going to be once, very interesting for sure. Abso absolutely. Once we do get an example, I'd love to showcase that to people. No doubt about that. That'll be, that'll be absolutely great. Um, yeah, I'm grabbing that right now. It's funny too because what this originally came from was um, Don Sibley a long, long time ago. He had made a video mm -hmm. about adding gun racks, and then he was able to export the gun racks into an MG, like a map group proto file or a map group pause file, mm -hmm. and then have it so that guns could properly spawn in those gun racks. Right. And everyone for the longest time was so boggled as to how he actually managed to export those because as far as we know, community online tools or any of that stuff can't actually do that properly with no. any of the in-map objects, yet at least. Mm -hmm. And what and what he ended up doing was he utilized a very cool trick that's inside the, I think it's the map group cluster. Mm -hmm. And there's an option to export objects into, you have to do this on PC, of course, this can't be done on yeah. console. Oh no, absolutely. But you yeah. can... You can export every. You can export a P3D. You can specify a P3D, and then you can name it, and then it'll export every single coordinate to every single P3D of that matching P3D across the map. So if you were to put in the P3D for the uh, gun rack, it would export a list with coordinates to every single P3D that uses the gun rack model across the map, mm -hmm. and then it'll give you that full list. And with that, you can convert it to whatever you want. So if you want to turn it into like a map group. Uh, pause or a proto or if you want to put that into like a um an object spawner mm -hmm. it's, you can. anything can be done with that exactly so that's, that's so good oh that's so i re i can't wait to see what people once it's like more shown off and you know the the process and how to do it is more more discussed and whatnot it'd be really really exciting to see what people can do with something like this because especially for the console guys it's the more control that you have over creating any kind of like map edit or anything like that all for it <laughs> absolutely all for it and with this method even better even better which is going to be absolutely great i can't wait to see yeah. um, about it can you send the link in the stage um chat so i can open sure. it up open in the dms on in, stream as it's in the uh, call we're using look at the call chat sexy um uh but this is how it we're yeah, okay, okay. give me a second. That's pretty interesting, Garf Muggle. So, Lad, what he was saying is, if you drive off the map into like the debug terrain, it kills the player. But he found out that if you build stuff on top of it, and if the player's driving on top of that stuff, they won't actually die to being inside the debug terrain. So it's only being on the terrain itself that affects the player. Mm -hmm. So if you were to add bridges or roads or something out there, you could pretty much have it work to some degree you know just be like floors lava where you can't touch any of the grass with a vehicle but yeah it's still it's still something to work with you know and for a console who have such limited things to use it's you know it's We're awesome to produce um all this stuff um, the exact i, wish we, I just wish we had trees and uh, bush right well to answer that question this is the exact same we, i've actually spoken with adam about that before adding mm -hmm. like the rocks and the bushes <laughs> and the trees and unfortunately what he said is it's just it would like to fix some of the performance issues they have first with some of the static objects before they continue to go through with that because if you were to put in a lot of foliage or grass it can just it can do a lot of um a, a lot of harm performance wise yes so yeah so Sumrak has said that he is holding off right now to put it in but he just it's just because he wants to make the performance better so that we can enjoy it to the fullest so i definitely do appreciate that and he's not just kind of throwing everything out and not giving it any thought. He's actually looking into it to make sure everything's good, everything's optimized so that we're not running into any issues on our part. So And that's it. And you know, more optimization means it'll run better on PC as well, which absolutely all for. All for it. I've got the video up but, right now. Be able to go through awesome. and get all the um gun rack positions, right? So what I did is I um loaded up DayZ, we build the statistics. Um uh, made reference in map group. Uh, where is it? Map group. <laughs> map group. Uh, map group. Made reference in map group. Brought to to the to the gun racks. Um, the game exported the file. I was able to reformat. At so this the, is it right here. That, the export line. Yes. Proto.xml file and have the guns spawning in all the gun racks around the map. Um, now, like I said, there's an, there's a, probably a better way to do this now, but I just wanted to show you this way. So um, should we should we try and load up the um, should we probably do the then as you see uh, once I think he goes into his files after this you can see right there 
there's his file that was just generated that actually now has sure all of the raw exports into it. So let's have a look at the actual um, streetlight mod, and then I'll have a look. I'll show you another one. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Michael yeah. says, could the developers fairly easily give the console players empty so Trinaris and Vornia like maps to rent only, that we could download as free DLC and mod into unique playable maps? We've spoken about this before, and it'd be pretty easy because yeah. all you'd have to do is remove the objects from, like, in Terrain Builder. Like, that's not really a hard thing to do. <laughs> well, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so, you could just delete the objects or export, but one thing we've spoken about before, and one thing that uh, DOJ has made a comment on, is in building a full map, that would just be such a performance drop, and you'd probably, it would just, it just wouldn't run pretty well. <laughs> no, that's it. You'd have to be pretty careful about what you can do. Um, and plus, you would have to do that for PC in order to do it all that. Because that's the thing. Um, you'd have to have that terrains open for the PC community so they can use it for console. Because obviously you can't really do stuff without PC. Um, so... Well, you, you, you technically can, but for, for anyone who's tried, it's not a fun thing to do. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um... I remember when, when I was first starting out, when I was first starting out with building, and we, I didn't have any of the special, I didn't have um, any of the PC programs, anything like that. Yeah. What I would do is I'd turn damage logs on, and I would damage my player to get the XYZ to put that in to the object, and then I would just mess around with the yaw pitch and roll until it looked good. Mm hmm Which was very, very sketchy. It just, it just, it took so much time. It didn't make sense. And literally back then, something that would have taken me like an hour, an hour and a half to make would take me less than a minute to make now, you know? And it's just, it's crazy to think about that. <laughs> well, there you it's go, really, Alexis. really crazy to think about that. <laughs> just, just imagine having to do everything, doing the entire Zagoria and like that kind of effort. <sighs> no, I wouldn't have. I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't have. <laughs> just straight up, no, I wouldn't even bother. <laughs> no. No, don't blame me. And it was even worse before. It was even worse before we had the object spawner, because people would have to spawn in buildings as mm. an event. Yeah, I saw that. I'm good. <laughs> and that was just no, no, not fun. No, not no fun. fun at all. <laughs> not fun at all. But it's it's in it's interesting, Michael, what you're talking about with bringing content out. You know, potential content out for console and whatnot. Lemons, um, you actually dug out some more tweets. And you sent them you to me the other day, yes. I was actually... One of them I completely forgot about, but the second one... Yeah, that was uh, quite interesting. So... <clears throat> let's see if I can pull them up now. So, way back in... Um, 2017... 2019... Um, there was a lot of stuff going on. Um... You really did <laughs> go through these old tweets, didn't you? Um, so... Um, I had to open up the archive. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Archive! Yeah, so, um, he, so Lemons found these old tweets from the Daisy Twitter themselves, going all the way back to 2017, in regard to some, um, to some things that are actually prevalent to, uh, to today. Um, Actually, just gonna check this gif out because oh yeah, that's that's old news. That's fine. But um, so this guy Boofy Magic, he said waiting for a bike still, which is fair. You know, 2017, we still haven't got them. That's five years ago. <clears throat> Bikes are pretty hard to do because of physics and animations. They will arrive in one of the free updates after 1.0 is released. Interesting, right? Okay, no problem at all. It still hasn't happened yet, and we're at 18 coming up, 19 updates since 1.0. Yeah. You know, every, it is what it is. Seen this, everyone's really seen this tweet too, you know. Everyone's yeah. seen the, this generic tweet and everyone holds it against Daisy too. I'll always see mm -hmm. a few tweets. Someone always links that to them. But yeah, what's yeah. interesting is the second tweet we have. Yeah. Because this is and, something that I don't think a lot of people have seen. And and this is it. So Daisy said in the March 25th, 2019, it's pretty difficult to implement proper bicycles due to their physics. So while we are planning to have them in the future, the current focus is on regular cars. Which is fair. At the time, absolutely. The game needed some like some attention to the cars, and to be fair, it still does, but 
what's been going on this entire year so far? What have they been talking and teasing us about? A brand new f uh, vehicle physics system from the current Infusion slash Reforger. This is an absolute stretch, okay? And I don't like to discuss things without maybe like a hint of evidence or anything like that. I don't like to call speculation, but this one time, could we actually see, you know, people's been talking about, oh, we could get the boss, we could get a military vehicle. What if the new physics that are coming in could actually mean we get bicycles? You know, you know what? Fuck buses. I don't want that. I don't want no tanks. Give me my bicycle, you know? <laughs> just just whipping down the street playing queen, you know? Like... <laughs> oh, absolutely, yes. But see, but see, this is the thing. I mean, it's, um, what if they actually fix current cars? Oh, that'll happen. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> All the skates confirmed. Um, I mean, that's what they said in their tweet, though. They said, well, we, mm -hmm. we are actually adding in bikes at some point. We'd like to first focus on fixing the vehicles and fixing the yeah. cars because so, that is, of course, what their biggest issue was. And what's mm -hmm. interesting is that was posted around 1.9, so yeah, 1.10. Yeah. Back in 2019, and, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, at, at the same time, and it's now been... Now we, we have the new Reforger physics, so... Mm -hmm. At the same time, it has been three years since the, those tweets were made. Plans might have changed since then, which is fine. It's, it's a part and parcel of game development. You have plans... And doesn't work out. But I'm just kind of thinking, and you know, Lemons, you, you, you kind of thought the same thing because we, we talked about it previously. What if the new vehicle physics system isn't just intended to fix the current car situation? What if it, what if it actually does pave the way for new types of vehicles to get added? Because right now... It's a very right interesting now, idea. And one thing, one thing that's very cool as well is... The infusion, the infusion physics that's coming mm -hmm. to us is the one that's currently being used with Reforger. Yeah. And as it's... we've seen with Reforger through leaks, Reforger is adding boats, they're adding helicopters, mm -hmm. and a lot of different vehicles. So if this physics is being moved to DayZ, I'd imagine that all of these vehicles would also then be possible as well. Yeah. I... To be fair, though, I still don't think DayZ is suitable for helicopters maybe not for chinaris or livonia not at all but i do think it would be really interesting if it does pave the way for different types of vehicles um haven't they changed out the dev team since back then also possibly um so it's always changing everyone's always being always shipped changing. to different projects yeah. and new people are always coming and going you know so it's Is hard to say specifically when it did change but there's mm -hmm. always people leaving but there's also people coming back too you know mm -hmm. so Steve asks, is that confirmed that it's the same as they use in Reforger? Yeah. Well, see, well, is it though because they've said it's from the latest Infusion, but I haven't specifically said this is from Reforger, as far as I'm aware. Um, if anybody can pull up a tweet that does say that specifically, I'll be like, yep, that's okay, that's no problem at all. But we can only assume, without confirmation, that it is going to be from Reforger. Um, I know yeah. a lot of people's been messing around with the engine quite a lot recently. I mean, it's a bit well, it's a bit died down since the launch. I mean, it hasn't really been too doing too great <laughs> apparently, but there has been some interesting things coming from that. Um, yeah, and I know people got helicopters working pretty quickly to an extent. Like some parts of it, they got it working pretty quickly. Um, so it would be interesting, but I'm more. Honestly, I'm more focused on the solo experience for a player. Like, if they can get a bike, that'd be great. Um, oh, you me a workshop on console when? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, Reforge's latest developer update says there's going to be cross-play between PC and console. I did see that. I can't really comment on it because I've honestly haven't really read too much and how it'll work and. Um, like the pros and cons, I don't want to be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fucking, uh, you know, because I'll be flat out with that. you. I hope that doesn't happen for Daisy, because considering how cursed official is right now on PC, I PC would not want to that come to. Uh, if that <laughs> came to console, official be dead. Like official on a console, like the only place where you're gonna actually experience a pretty decent, like official mm -hmm. experience, you know. The second you go to PC, there's people hacking, there's people using all the uh, whatever that magic bolt thing is. Like it's just uh, yeah. It's a, it's, no. it's horrible. <laughs> Reforger, I could see, because it's kind of built for that. Daisy, not so much. I don't think that would work no, out well. No, but no. for Reforger, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, see, this is the thing. And, you know, we've, we've talked in the podcast quite a few times. And 
recent months and whatever that's you know what is in the future for DayZ in this I mean we've again we've talked about it for a while and do you actually genuinely think that these new vehicle sys uh, systems could really um, really give DayZ the um, the injection that it's that it does admittedly need to breathe a little bit more life into the game don't get us wrong it's the best it's ever been but at the same time it's like it needs a little bit more love and hopefully with this yep. it'll actually come about and especially considering a lot of the stuff that we've seen before <laughs> in some of the things that dean hall had put out in his uh, mm -hmm. roadmaps well long before he left of course but yes slowly but surely i'm seeing a lot of that stuff is making its way in you know mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff that had been worked on at one point is now being resumed work and it's making its way back in so i could only imagine how much more of that stuff comes in, you know? Because mm -hmm. it could be a lot of that stuff. And it's it's crazy to say that, because I think a lot of people at one point were just, they were not optimistic. They thought it was the end of end of DayZ. They're not, they're not going to put out any good updates anymore. No. And it's just, it's over. But I think that now they're really working hard and they're really trying to restore DayZ to the former hype that it had before 0.62. Well, that's it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, sorry, I just I just read something. Oh, my, my apologies. But yeah, no, it's um, <clears throat> when it comes down to it, I just I just think Daisy needs a bit, a bit more love, absolutely. Um, and go on, and we'll see. Well, oh, there, where I can't, can't fucking speak. Lemons helps. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bloody talk. Um, but. You know, fingers crossed with whatever does come. It really does pave the way for everything. Um, everything that we could solely need. Uh, Josie says, I think they should add Hilly. Roaming around an editor, you'll learn the map and a whole new vision. Console players haven't seen the point of view before. Um, mm, Chinaris, to me, personally, isn't really built now. In terms of DayZ, isn't really built for helicopters. Um, but... At the same time, we've got toxic zones, grenade launchers now, so who the hell am I to say? <laughs> you know, if, if helicopters come, they come. Um, Skill Speeder says crossplay with PC and Reforger gives Xbox access to modded servers. That's a fair point. I didn't think of that. Bring it on then. <laughs> Bring it on then. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean. That's that. That's uh. I've, my mind's completely gone. <laughs> my mind's completely fucking gone. Sorry. But uh, we'll just have to see what. You know who happens. else's mind is completely gone? What? Bobo, because he decided it'd be a good idea to get married. Oh yes. <laughs> yes, that's very. That's I'm just, very I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean. <laughs> No, yes, <laughs> Warbo in a now deleted video because it was uh, tied to a giveaway video. He's married now. He he's got he's tied the knot. And honestly, been like a fan of him for years since you know the alpha days, going through all the years, and then when he and then when he had to leave and come back, we've been an absolute avid supporter. I'm so proud of him. I'm so so happy for him. So. Well, well, if you ever see this, congratulations to you, mate. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. And I hope can't wait for the um, can't yeah. wait for the mini Wobos to be running around. <laughs> <laughs> All the crashies. <laughs> Daisy two comes out. We got you know Wobo Junior coming out with his uh, you know top thirty <laughs> tips for updates. You know two point thirteen with his bonus tap at the end. You know. <sighs> <laughs> oh, the future is great and beautiful. <laughs> no, but absolutely fantastic. I, I was buzzing when I heard the news. Absolutely buzzing. Um, kind of came out of a shock, to be fair. Usually, you know, people on social media like talk about it, but it was just like, well, I'm going to be away for a few weeks. I'm married and going on a honeymoon. See you later. It's like... Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Yeah. Mini Warble punch in the garden fence to see how many punches it takes to destroy it. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. 
uh, you know, playing some like Mass Effect, um, Mass Effect music in the background or, or whatever else, just like. <sighs> just imagine like a clan of Wobos running at you. Like you just know you're done. Like you just you might as well just combat log right there. Like it's game over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael, thank you very much for the twenty five US dollars, mate. Much love to you. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing doing well, though, mate. I really am hoping that you're doing well. It's always nice to see you come out and chat. Um, I have a suspicion they will bring the van into Dizzy since they made a completely new model. Shown in Reforge screenshots, but it's unused for now. If they bring out a van, I hope they have it so you can actually stand in the back. That's the like one of my favorite mods is like the road trip type of mod, where you can stand in the back of like or stand on top of vehicles and whatever else because it is so funny to just pop open the van like <laughs> drive up to drive up with somebody pop open like the side door on the van and just spray into somebody unsus like unsuspectingly and then just drive Road off. Road pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fucking much. Oh man, I, I hope I do hope they bring out a van. I really, really do hope that they do that. That'll be absolutely fantastic. Um I would honestly I would love to make one for myself, but I wouldn't even know where to start. Um being honest with you, I wouldn't even mind the old van coming in because that was actually a pretty good model. Like that no. original van that they had like the Volkswagen. Like that didn't that did not look too bad. There wasn't one, was there? There was yeah, never was. one. There was never one released. Well, it was never released, but it was it, it was the in the files one. that you could spawn in. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh mate, that was one of the first things I checked in point six three <laughs> when we yeah. had like the offline client. I was like, oh mate, look at this. It's gonna be great when we get this. That was like being four honest. Years ago. That was not a bad van. Like that it looked was very good. It was lovely. It was really, really great. I mean, hopefully we do get some more more vehicles to really kind of like tide over people, and that that obviously fits well with the theme of the game. Um, I just sent you the uh, picture for it. Is it uh, in the DM? Let me see. You know, it's old too when it's oh, using yes. the old school uh, icons. Look at that, eh? <laughs> I too. Can you post it in the um? stage chat sir thank you look at this look at this people it's beautiful why can't we have this Daisy please oh I love this vehicle I, I think it's absolutely great it'll be it'll be really awesome um have they actually done something with this um but we'll just have to wait and see if, if they if it does turn out that 119 brings in the new physics and then brings in this vehicle. Mm. Can, can... <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, a word that I can't see on stream. <laughs> the, the, the word I can't see on stream, Van. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> totally. Yes, yeah, just just imagine if the windows are like completely blacked out at the sides. You open like you drive up to somebody, like open the, the side, and it's, oh yeah, and you like you, you open the side door, and whoever's looking in can just see somebody wearing nothing but a burlap sack over the head. Like get in. <laughs> I'd be terrified. I'd be shitting myself. Oh lord, but I, I do hope that they do bring that out because it's a really cool concept, really cool vehicle. Um, but yes, absolutely. I. I I am excited. I am excited to see what they do. Um, what they do bring in, military jeeps and white windowless van for kidnappings. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Hell yes. Just imagine if there's a custom one for the Yellow King. <laughs> That's how he gets around. It's not like the cargo truck. It's that. <laughs> yellow caravan. The, ye <laughs> the <laughs> yellow caravan for the Yellow King. Hell yeah! This is chariot. Yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go. We do need a UAZ for sure. I, I actually do agree that there does need to be another military vehicle because couldn't they... We have wrecks for UAZ, you know? Yeah, I mean... We have wrecks for them. The cargo truck, would that be considered as a military vehicle or civilian? I, I would say, I would say military. Oh. Really? Contrasting opinions! Oh. <laughs> you, mean, you mean like the one that's like in the game right now? Yeah, the one that's got... that The back is covered where you can't jump in the back. I mean, the V3S was always considered military, you know? This mm. one's just the V3S with, like, a tarp over it, you know, and, like, actual back storage, so... That's fair. 
<laughs> okay, no, that's that's absolutely fair. No, I, I, okay, I can I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Um, if we, uh, I'd say Mel, that's fair. Uh, if we get an ice cream truck that plays that annoying music as it drives around, I'm going to deinstall the game. <laughs> Someone mod that in, please. <laughs> but um, but no, that, that I'm 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 definitely excited to see what does come out. I really really am, and I can't wait to see Warble's video on it. Completely breaking everything down for the new vehicle. It's going to be really, really awesome. I can hear that. Stop that. <laughs> Cease. Cease your ice cream fuckery. <laughs> eh, God. But, um, but in terms of good things that has been going on um, in the past week or so, I was very, very happy with two of these. Very, very happy. Um... And the first one, if I can just pull up the tweet. He's been previously on the show as our, as uh, during my run, well, our run, I should say. Reverend 816 has reached partner on Twitch. He He's reached it. Legend. it I could not think of anybody who was more deserving of this. The amount of work and effort this guy brings to the table for his content is amazing. And honestly, props to him. Absolutely props to him. And if you want to see a streamer that grinds for his work, he's the man. Absolutely. You know, he is the man. Yeah, Absolutely. And he dresses up for it. <laughs> he dresses up for the goddamn streams. Most of the time, most of the ones that I've seen him in, he dresses up, he wears the dress, he wears the, he the helmet, and he's got the, he's got the thing on the background, and you know what? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the shower curtain, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the shower curtain. He's telling us about yep. that, mate, I was creased. But the, the out, like, 301 likes, 13 retweets, 7 quote tweets, this guy, absolutely well deserved of it. Absolutely well, Holy. well deserved of it. And I can't wait to see where he goes in the future way of now being a, a, a Twitch partner and when's the uh, when's the DayZ clan happening if you're watching <laughs> <laughs> oh that'd be great but um, absolutely I'm, I'm, I am I'm read this when I was at work and it was beautiful absolutely beautiful I think the most pressing question is though I think saying that one thing that's burning on everybody's minds is when are you getting a partner lad what's, uh, what's going on with that <laughs> <laughs> that would require me to stream again on Twitch. I don't do that. I should. I've been seeing that for months and months and months. Oh yeah, I'll get quite streaming yeah. 24 hour lad? Come on. Honestly, I still genuinely think that 24 hour live stream that I don't completely killed all drive for any future streams oh, <laughs> on my 100%. channel. I remember once Last time I actually streamed me playing like DayZ, like an actual gameplay, and not just development, it was a 15 hour stream. I never touched it again. <laughs> never again. That's the thing. <laughs> See, it's funny because I've had people ask, it's like, well, you stream on the podcast. Why don't you just stream on your channel? It's like, well, it's a completely different, like, ballpark. You know, when, you, when you're talking on the podcast, it's a really, really good laugh and you can bounce off with of different people. And, you know, you can talk about a lot of different things. When I stream on Twitch, it's just typically me. I'm not a very interesting person. <laughs> so, interesting thing, though, and I, I want to see what the chat thinks about this. What Would you guys like to see us do a similar thing to what the Daisy developers do with their streams? Because if you're familiar with that, a lot of the Daisy developers, or, well, they used to, but now even with the recent one, it was, they sit together and they just play the game. They're talking, having a good time. Or like even like a um, a fresh spawns style style video where there's multiple people, multiple perspectives and stuff like that. How would you mm. how would you like to see us stream that kind of stuff? Is like extra content for you guys? That'd be interesting to pull off. Absolutely. I, I honestly, I've always kind of thought that when a big update comes in, we obviously we do a show about our thoughts and opinions on it, but we actually like stream us playing it together. I think that would be really cool. I think that'll be really, really yep. nice. Um, 
Yeah, we should. We should, absolutely. And Michael says, Lad, stream with a dress on from Daisy and I'll donate $100. No, Lad, you gotta put a maid dress on, man. Go the full, uh, full kilometer. No. God, no. <laughs> not a chance. I'll not do the maid dress, but the polka dot dress. Or even like the, uh, <laughs> The, the tartan collar dress. I'll wear that. I'll wear that, no problem at all. Brand new subscriber remote. <laughs> <laughs> just me playing face, just like, I hate my life. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh my god. Gilsby in the chat just said, you should definitely do the streams together. It would be fun, you know? And of course... Because like Lad was you. saying, it's just... When he when Lad was on Twitch, you know, he just didn't have the, he didn't have the people to stream with, but if we did on the podcast... It would be like what the uh, developers do over on Twitch. It'd they just hop on, they have yeah. a good time playing, they talk about DayZ, they talk about development, they just have fun, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I would I would love to do that, 100%. I think I think we should definitely talk about the logistics and see how it goes. Like, see how we can actually do that. Uh, Michael, and of course, you got to shave your legs. Okay, here's a ground rule. If I do a stream like that, and say, for example, it's the Namolsk Subathon, I will wear the tartan colour dress. No problem at all. But you are not seeing my legs. I refuse anybody to see my legs. Even if I got into a relationship, the other person will never ever see my legs. That can piss right he off. He doesn't want us to see his knees. <laughs> Those are my knees. I made them myself. Fuck them. <laughs> but... Lad waxing stream? Question mark? <laughs> no! What did I just every, say? Every, every donation? <laughs> Oh yes, every donation we're just gonna take a little strip away from your legs. <laughs> Scotty just drops like a nice five hundo. <laughs> <laughs> Get it all. I can off. totally see that man. Scotty just making you suffer like. <laughs> oh god, I would actually hit Scotty after that. <clears throat> not good, oh, not good at all. But, but, I'm 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 open the idea for streaming. Maybe like, obviously on the podcast actually streaming an, an update especially. But I I have. I'm thinking about actually doing, maybe setting up me Twitch again, or even just swap swapping to YouTube on my live channel. We'll see. But twenty four seven, eighty seven <laughs> FM stream. No, <laughs> God, no, not a chance. I'm never doing another twenty four hour again. I was so ill, and I had to go to work a few days after. I'm never doing that again. Not a chance. But I appreciate it. Hour stream. <laughs> I cr I was crashing around the seventeen hour mark. Well, that's the max, all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, another thing that was really really good news, and I was absolutely chuffed with, um, vodka cupcakes. She's gonna be a, a mother. Just wanted to share the reason why I haven't been streaming as much recently. A new f new life full of appointments and tiredness. <laughs> Baby cupcakes due January 2023. Congratulations to her. Absolutely congratulations. Because it's like, I mean, I've I've got a niece. And it's, I can only imagine what it must be like to be a mother. Because it is, it's a wonderful thing. It's an absolutely wonderful little thing. And when are you going to be a mother, lad? <sighs> Someday. Someday soon. <laughs> but, but no, that's awesome. That's really good to hear. Yeah, and you know, you know, Boydy was uh, was talking about it. Brendan Hardy, like Lord, dude, Thor, Dab, so many people has given vodka support over this, and you know what? Rightfully so. Rightfully so. And I do hope that absolute best for her. And it would be really cool if the if um if the Daisy team PR team. Uh, actually, like, send out like a hamper or something like to that. I th I think they should do that. To be fair, like any like prominent member of the community, they should do something back because it's like you put. As far as I'm concerned, when you like create content, like you know, in the, in the vein of, um, you know, modders or content creators, um, like Reverend and and um in vodka cupcakes. Got to have that love. Got to have that love, and they're part of the family. They're part of the Daisy family, in my in my opinion. So, <clears throat> and don't know if the will though. We'll just have to see. 
But that that news came as a shock. <laughs> to be fair, it's like, oh shit. Oh, but absolutely fantastic. Roll on January. You know what else is absolutely fantastic? What? Wellington's first mm -hmm. public mod. Mate, yes. Has anybody actually seen that? Because this guy is goddamn insane. His, like, his artwork is really, really cool. But this stuff, next level. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Stuff. Like, that's just such a cool concept, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, considering, like, it, this, the guy's done, like... You know, just the um, the art, um, the artwork that he's shown off on the podcast and his Twitter. He's been featured in so many community uh, community spotlights. It's unreal. And now that he's actually finally got his own mod, must have been a really awesome feeling for him. If really? I'm not mistaken, I think Wellington also is a uh, is a father. He is. Yes, he is a father. Yeah. Good old Daddy Wellison. Mm. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go. And see, this is the thing. This is what I was actually quite surprised with. You know, the mod, it's got so many great, like, awards and whatnot. <clears throat> it does rely on MMG, my uh, military gear. That's perfectly fine. Um, 367 unique subs. But he's also made it so you can use the mod and monetize servers. And you can repack it. Without permission. Without permission, like you can just do it. And wow, mad lad, <laughs> like an actual mad lad. Because it's like you know, a lot of modders, including myself, were like, "No, you're not allowed to repack it. If you want to, if you want to use this mod, you have to put it on, you know, yourself without repacking." Which is fair, you know, modders have that right. But this guy, this mad lad, this absolute chance, just like. Yeah, I spent hours doing all this. You can use it monetize servers. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't care if you're repacking or not. Just have fun. And you know what? That's true selflessness. He's created content and he does not care about the subs. Absolutely not. He doesn't care about the subs or the ratings. He's like, I've made content. I want you guys to enjoy it, even if it means repacking. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. He's well within his right to. So props to him for that. Absolutely. <clears throat> I am excited to see if he does anything more, though. I really am. I wonder if he's going to be doing something like with weapons. That would be really cool. Um, more clothing would be really good. Like, his own vanilla clothing pack would be really nice. be really, really nice. Because there's not that many now, I don't think. There's main... There's, what, two that I can think of? Mass in Uncooper? I can't... I don't know how to pronounce the username. But you know what I mean. You know the you know the modder, I think. I think. I'm not too sure. Let's see if I can actually pull it up. Because my mind is pulling a blank. Yeah. By cut uh yeah, so let's pull it up here. No, wrong Google tab. Yeah, so this one here. And a lot of effort went into this. 160 new variants. And they're really, really nice. Really, really nice. I like to play servers of all this kind of stuff. And it's a massive list. Absolute massive list. They don't repack. You're not allowed to repack unless you've got permission. And that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly okay. But, I mean, for this kind of work, no, I would be like, no, mate, you're not, you're not repacking, sort of. But... Yeah, it's it's really really cool. It's really cool what people can do. It's really really cool. And recently, um, as well with with cool things. What the hell is that? That was a phone call. Tell them <laughs> a piss off. <laughs> but um, but the thing that happened, uh, TwitchCon was actually going uh, was happening recently, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Mm, I was... I actually... I got a message from the team. Was that the ice cream truck? Yeah, he's modding it right now. Um, yep. <laughs> right in front of you guys. It's already, it's already happening. <laughs> I was I was absolutely devastated because I did actually plan to go to TwitchCon um, 
in Amsterdam this year, but it was too short notice and I couldn't I couldn't afford it because it's expensive to get there during the summer. They 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 actually reached out to me. It was like, oh, are we going to be seeing you? And I'm like, nah, sorry, fam. And they're like, oh shit. But <laughs> you sent me a tweet from. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you sent me a tweet, lemons from Rampage Granny seventy eight. Um, yep. Normal day in TwitchCon. Absolutely. So, so had a blast at the first day at TwitchCon, but Bohemian Interactive and Daisy, where you all at? Such a shame you're not you're not there. Saw so lots of survivors there. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to TwitchCon, folks. Welcome to TwitchCon. <laughs> I, I don't know who them two are, the left and the right, to be fair. I have no idea. But looks like they had fun. <laughs> Looks like they had fun, and you know what? I can't knock that. I can't knock that at all. Um, I want uh, if anybody's in chat that's actually been to TwitchCon, you gotta let us know how it went. Um, I can only imagine that it went really, really awesome, but I've got no clue. I haven't really heard much about it. Um, I have actually asked them if they are going to be going to any more. Is that what you're wearing on your streams, lad? If I ever wear anything on my stream that resembles being a cat boy, you have permission to to just game end myself. <laughs> like, you have permission to just game end me. Like, I am never ever going to do that. Even ironically, I am not going to get my, my you know, my game developer, you know, thigh high socks and cat ears. God, sod that shit. That's just for behind the camera. Behind yeah, exactly. The yeah, exactly. Yeah. God, you know, so you gotta be comfortable in your own skin, and that's the way it does for me, right? It might you get partnered. <laughs> oh. Um, I've just joined the stream now. Is there any chance Bohemia have bought the rights to the map to bring it to console? No, um, simply because there is current. Not very pleasant. Dis well, there were discussions between Sumrak, the lead developer of Daisy, and the person who made the map, Eden, asking why did they s essentially steal code from the Malsk. Um, if Bohemia were to do a new map, it would bring it to PC and consoles, so definitely not. Um, sorry to burst your bubble there, Rave. Also, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing all right, mate. I really do hope. Um, I'm not wearing any kind of dress, by the way, to get myself partnered. I'm good. Thanks, though. He's Thanks wearing for it under the clothes, it. though. It's under the shirt. <laughs> no, it's not what you're on about. <laughs> but one thing I do want to show off. So, last week, you may remember that we talked about a guy called Dale Hughes, who, um, who done some wooden boards related to Daisy content and to um, to other kinds of content from video games. Well, <clears throat> we've reached out to him. I, I did, and Boydie has as well. And I'm proud to show we have got our own. The lad was absolutely spot on. He was he was absolutely thrilled to to work. So I'll show mine off to everybody. The oh, the smell of the wood is just mm, it's great, and the paint was fantastic. The work that went into this is really lovely, really high quality. It's got that lad on there as well. Um, and oh, it's just brilliant. It's absolutely bloody fantastic. Is it reversed on stream, by the way? Is it reversed on stream? Might be. Hopefully, hopefully not. But if it is, it's fine. I'll just uh, deal with it. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I hate Discord. I don't know how to fix that at the moment, but that's that's fine, actually. So... Oh, no, I just requested that it had it spelled backwards. You know, you want. Oh it yeah, to absolutely. It yeah, yeah, ob yeah, ob yeah. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. But. We got two mid. And the second one was this one now, Joe. <laughs> we actually got ourselves a DayZ podcast version. Again, reversed, but we got ourselves one. 
And when I opened the package when I got home from work and I saw this, I was like, wow. This is amazing. This is absolutely fantastic. He absolutely did. He absolutely killed it with these. He absolutely, absolutely killed it. And you know what? I couldn't have been more happier. I've already told him that um, if we do any more, like if we want any more, I'm going to reach out to him. And on that note, <clears throat> we did. <laughs> So, <laughs> in the future, can't see, um, uh, yes, so all the links will, will be posted in the Discord. Um, in fact, I'm going to get his Twitter while we are here, because he was just absolutely brilliant. So, so we really mainly spoke to him on Twitter, he even posted a picture of it on there. But... I'm blinded. But we have actually spoken to him briefly. I'm busy shifting. Oh, now you're getting a call. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> Send the message there. So we so before I get distracted again, <laughs> we have discussed uh, it with him and in the future, in the near future we are going to be doing a giveaway. We're going to be doing a giveaway of one of these. So I hope you guys stick tuned. More information on the giveaway will be posted once we have finalized some details and once we've received it. Um, and whoever will win, I'll be posting one of these out to you. These are going to be going on my wall. Because obviously. <laughs> um... And I'm finally going to start the collection of Daisy memorabilia. So, absolutely fantastic stuff. Like, I would absolutely recommend anybody getting in touch with them. The quality is just absolutely brilliant. Put a nice thud to them. And as long as you're nice, obviously, to any kind of, like, creator, but um, he was brilliant to work with. You know, there was so much creative decisions went in, into it. And he was completely open if there was any issues or anything like that. Which thankfully there weren't. Not too many. <clears throat> but the only thing I was on about was uh, the font. But he came up with a brilliant solution. And I commend him for it. So send him a DM. Look into his Facebook. Look into his Etsy store. Get yourself order and stuff. He's definitely got my seal of approval. What about yourself, Lemons? <laughs> no, but uh, Lemons, get yourself or order one for yourself, mate. Absolutely, because they're fucking brilliant. One hundred percent. And there'll be a secret Speaking one. Speaking about getting ourselves stuff, we should take a moment to talk about today's sponsor. Me. Laws Kill Feed. <laughs> we actually have one, lad. What? Believe it or not. It was a surprise didn't... for you. You, you didn't fucking tell me before. Okay, fair enough. All right. Laws Kill Feed lets you display kills, moderate your moderate your um, server, and instantly get server logs of any placement, folding, packing, or dismemberment happy on the map. Use code PLNETWORK20 for 20% <laughs> off your next uh, purchase in chat. Well, there you go. A, a, a lemon-sponsored sponsor thing. <laughs> no, but that, that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. Post that information... Um, in the chat, and I'll post that. How, how long does the code last for? <laughs> oh, it's yeah, uh, it's permanent. Oh well, there you go, there you go. Put, put once the once the episode uh, goes live, we'll keep that information. I'll sort that all out next time. Tell me though, <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> no, that's awesome though. Absolutely fantastic work. But this uh, this weekend's episode is a little bit shorter than usual. Um, I know last week's episode was uh, considerably short. I do want to apologise. But before we do finish, I want to announce that in the near future, <clears throat> we will be getting a special team guest on. This is one I'm not telling you, Lemons. So, <laughs> you get a free pan of your, per of your order. There you go. But we are in discussion with the expansion team to getting them back on the show 
to showcase their quests and AI systems and to also talk mm -hmm. about the development of expansion. We've been in really good discussions with them. I'm really, really looking forward to having them on the show. It won't be next weekend, um, but we will be keeping you guys up to date with that on. <clears throat> but I'm really looking forward to getting that all set up. I want to thank Boydie for starting the conversation for it. Uh, and Steve and the rest of the team, I'm genuinely looking forward to having you. I really, really am. You, you beautiful, beautiful people. <laughs> But with that, Lemons, what is your spotlight for this week? Community. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. My, my, my spotlight today is going to have to be for Don Sibley Games because without him, <clears throat> mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff that we were working towards probably wouldn't, it, it wouldn't have happened or it would have taken a lot longer to happen. So my heart goes out to the guy. Mm -hmm. I'm back to Daisy. We're, we're all waiting for you. Please, we'll well, miss with you. open arms. We miss you dearly. <laughs> but, yeah, for those who don't know, he is an awesome creator in the community. He used to do a lot of modding stuff, and he's just all around like he's a legend. You know, everyone, everyone, who, who, anyone who's anything knows Don Sibley Games. You know, it just it echoes, it echoes in your head. <laughs> it does. It absolutely does, and that's the thing. He's, I, I love the guy to bits, and the stuff that he used to do on TikTok. I can't believe it actually like took off. It's brilliant, but he's an absolutely wonderful person, wonderful content creator, and he's just an all-around star. Guys, do give him a watch. He does stream quite a bit of Fortnite these days, as far as I'm aware, but it um, yep. doesn't really matter what he streams, because he's just absolutely fantastic. Um, just wait until he shaves his beard. <laughs> no, God, I hope he doesn't, actually. I hope he keeps it. I hope he really does keep it, because it's brilliant. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um... For myself, though, hmm, it's a good question. The commute, no, no, you've tell, you've done that joke. <laughs> Shit. Uh, <laughs> I actually do want to give a shout out to Willerton. I know we just briefly talked about him before, but he, like, without sounding weird, the guy actually holds a special place in my heart. He is a stand-up guy. Anytime he has any issues, he always come. You know, he always, you know, he always comes to us. You, you always talk about it. We we'll talk. We we'll talk through Google Translate and like screen share because obviously there's the language barrier. But we we'll work with it, and he's he's just an all around stand up guy. He creates some really awesome screenshots, really awesome artwork, and like I said, he's been featured on the Daisy Community Spotlight quite a few times. But he doesn't cease to amaze me with the stuff that he comes out with and on top of that i also i know it's he's a bi employee but he's still a good friend of mine i do want to shout out down to jesus as well he's recently created another screenshot um and it's a really really interesting perspective um really interesting um <clears throat> uh, idea behind it it's a picture of the yellow king with his um red uh, helmet friend basically holding a guy by the neck with a with a pipe wrench, like those big massive things, just like one like that, and it's like, why? How, like how? How can you? How did you do that? It's great. Oh, thank you very much, Michael, for the other twenty-five US dollars. I really do appreciate the love, my guy. Thank you. You're taking over the podcast and it's getting better every week. You know what? That that means a lot. That means a lot more than you may think. Thank you. I'm <laughs> no, but. Magic. That's it. It's just magic. No, but I, 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 we work hard. You know, Lemons. He's been absolutely wonderful since he's started the team. And Dump, for taking over, is one of the main co-hosts. Everybody on the team is just absolutely fantastic, working really, really hard. And you know what? I, I actually really look forward to, uh, the 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 shows when we do them. You know, when it's not delayed. Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> but no I really really look forward to it it's it's really nice it is a shame that we couldn't have Dump this weekend I'm pretty sure it would have been a really fantastic conversation it, well it was before but a more in-depth conversation about the modding side of things um, but again thank you very much Michael really really do appreciate it but 
<laughs> this week's episode brought to you by Lad's Ice Cream Truck. Yes, for a premium price of 99p, you can get yourself an actual Flake 99. If you want extra stuff, that's an extra five pound. We're going for the EA, you know, the EA, EA directive. Uh, if you want Make any sure extra to use sprinkles, code Lad Red Nine <laughs> to get extra sprinkles on your next cone. Oh my God! Yeah, actually, that that's reminded me. So it wasn't technically submitted, but I do still want to show it off. So unfortunately, Raf is not here. He's not here, unfortunately. Oh, we're done. Um, but I think what, it was a couple of weekends ago. That was it was quite a while ago now. Where we're talking about uh, talking about stuff and um, yeah, so <laughs> Dump made a short of me post it on the channel <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, Wrath there. Uh, Wrath responded. Wrath responded. And I want to show this clip to everybody. Quite, gonna... quite, uh, quite interesting, too, the way he responded. <laughs> like, literally, like it's it's funny because it's like he either usually like DMs me or posts in the podcast Discord, but no, this guy decides. Weapon speculation, what's going to happen? Wrath, don't say anything. If you're still here, do not <laughs> say a thing. I swear to God, I am sick and tired of this joke. I cannot be bothered. <laughs> it's the smile. <laughs> it's the smile that gets to us, and it's like, you little shit. <laughs> I was, <clears throat> like, I was legit having a really bad day when he sent that to me. Because he sent it to me. No, not really, but... <laughs> I was having a bad day, he sent it to us, and it turned it right around. And it was just so funny. It was so, so funny. And if Wrath was here... Oh, it's a shame he's not here. But... He's, he was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But with that, we are going to be ending this weekend show. Again, I really do apologise about it being um, another short weekend. <clears throat> but hopefully uh, in the next few episodes, the length will start getting back to normal. Get some more interesting things to talk about and have all of you here. Um, it's brilliant having you all here. It really, really is. But Lem, do you got anything more to say before we finish off? Um, well, I guess I have to only say this, you know, in, uh, in lieu of ha not having Wrath here, uh, no Red Nine, yeah, I just, it has to happen, you know, I just, I can't do, I think he'll, he'll appreciate that, you know, it's it, just having him here in some, some, by some degree, you know. He's here in spirit. <laughs> yep, he's, he's here, he's here in the tear shed by not having the Red Nine, so there you go. Well, there you go, there you go. <laughs> but again, it's been, <laughs> little shit. <laughs> but it's been again thank you everybody for coming along in chat for the stream i want to thank everybody who's come in um to to discuss the topics to talk to us and whatnot and even the people who have been negative i do want to thank you for coming in as well i really really do appreciate it just want to say you that show us that you cared enough to send a message so that's all that, that we all that we care about that's it and this gives us it just gives us uh engagement so Regardless of if it's, of if it's positive or negative. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the engagement, guys. <laughs> no, but seriously, <laughs> I, I, I do want to create as much yeah. of a positive atmosphere for everybody here, and most of the time it does work. But even when it's negative, it's, it's really nice. And in fact, one more thing, and this is something that's... I was going to kiss you guys. Oh, no. Well, there would, be, there would be nice, but you still haven't showed your face yet, so... Little, little shit. <laughs> yeah, hurry up with that. Come on, you said 111. You skipped it. This is it's 112 now. You're in debt. You're in debt I mean, I'm now. I'm in debt, so I have to. I have to have two webcams on then. <laughs> that was, that was going on Absolutely. Here. That's it. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to find the tweet. Right. Yes. Yeah, so this is it. This is from the Ariana, and I do want to leave the show with this. I'm uh, just gonna check to see if it did pop up. Yes. So. She was talking about her, um, <clears throat> the um, ladies of the night event that's going on, um, but she said this. I'm not having a foot cam, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> if you're a female Daisy player and are looking to compete in the biggest all-female Daisy PvP event, contact me. 
I'm joining up teams next week, and if your name isn't on the list, then there won't be a spot for you. Bohemian Interactive It's going to be wait for it, Legendary. But she said this, and I kind of resonated a lot with that. That's, that's going to be really interesting. I... No. No, it's, it's the next tweet that resonated with me a bit more. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you wait for me to finish, you naughty boy. I just wanted to add, even if we don't get along, for whatever reason you don't feel comfortable contacting me, you are still welcome. There's nobody who is not allowed to play. Just reiterating this after the first one, all female DZ players can play. And <clears throat> kind of responded to that saying, too, right, I feel there's too much discourse in this community and it's sad to see considering we all enjoy the same game and generally want the best for each other. And she responded, I may not get along with some people, that's life, but that doesn't exclude them from my events. I'm not a child, I can put aside my differences and let them play. And that's it. We're all in the same community, we're all in the same family, and obviously I don't expect everybody to get on with each other, because that is, that is life. But I do want to say that we're all in this together, we're all in the same community. Bye, Lemons. He just disappeared. But there you go, and he's back. <laughs> But, again, we're all in the same thing. We're all in the same community. And got to share the love. Got to share the love. But with that, I just want to say thank you again so much. Lemons, it's been a pleasure having you on again. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you had us go on there for a second. You had us going there for a second. <laughs> oh my god, you little shit. <laughs> you absolute little fucking shit. <laughs> absolute little shit. <laughs> but. Oh man. <laughs> Lemons, you take care of yourself, mate. Thank you yeah, very much you for too, coming buddy. on this show tonight. <laughs> And, um, it's always it's always a pleasure, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's always a pleasure. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'll see you for next week. <laughs> you take care of yourself. <laughs> bye bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, again so much for coming along the stream. I really, really do appreciate that. Um, I want to thank Michael for the overall 50 US dollars. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the streams again. Uh, it's always nice to see some regular faces. Steve, Josie, Mike, uh, DOJ, F uh, Fiverr, everybody for coming along the show. I really, really do appreciate it. It's always a pleasure having you all here. Um, going to be back again next Friday, same time. We're going to be back to schedule if nothing else goes wrong. <laughs> um, but again it's been absolutely lovely I really do appreciate it but um, <laughs> so I will see you all next Friday same time same place on the 87.8 Survivor FM for the Daisy podcast if you've got any more uh, if you've got anything that you want to talk about in the general in the discord the link is down below you can join it there if you're new to the show um, and new to the um, to the 87.8 Survivor FM family. But you all do take care of yourself. Much love to you all. And I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye for now, guys. <laughs>